everybody! Welcome back! I am here today with another informational video for you guys. Um, as you can see today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today we are in my living room and the pigs have their little run set up and we're just eating their vegetables in there. I decided to film in here today because it's a really dark October day and it's really dark in the pet room for filming so I just decided to set this up and bring the camera in here. Um, because there's a lot more light coming in through the window. So as you can see the octopus toy is out today. Aries already made his way in there and Nimbus is just trying to like nudge him out of it. <laughs> so that'll be a bit entertaining to watch while I make this video. So let me get on to the video today. So the video that I'm going to be making today is called Pig vs. Hog, which one is best for you? pig as in guinea pig versus hog or hedgehog, which one is best for you? So basically what I'm going to be doing is... Nimbus is really excited. So <laughs> what I'm going to be doing is comparing and contrasting both pets um, and presenting some pros and cons of each um, that way in case you've been interested in adopting one or the other and don't know which one is best for you then hopefully this video will give you some things to think about before deciding which pet to adopt and will hopefully help you decide which one is best for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I am first filming the piggies here and then when I am start talking about the hedgehog and the pros and cons of it I will bring her into the picture. So let's go ahead and get started now. Alright so first I am going to start talking about the pros and cons of guinea pigs. I think that guinea pigs make great pets for adults and for children as well as long as there is adult supervision while they're holding them or handling them because guinea pigs have very delicate backs and legs and if a child handles them incorrectly then that can damage their back or their legs forever so that's definitely something to think about. Guinea pigs are very friendly and social and that's why guinea pig owners absolutely love them. However, they can be extremely messy sometimes, so if you are a neat freak that cannot handle animals making messes then this is probably not the pet for you. So now I'm just going to go into detail on some pros about guinea pigs. The first pro of a pet guinea pig is that they are very vocal, which is very uncommon for lots of small animals. Other small animals like rabbits or even hedgehogs don't make very much noise at all, while guinea pigs make different noises just to tell you what they want or need or when they're displaying certain behaviors, so that's very interesting to see. Um, they usually weak for their vegetables and food and they also sometimes get really excited when they see you. Um, so they start waking as well. And they also have certain noises that they make when they <laughs> they're engaging in dominance rituals, as you see right now, where they're just popping all over the place and kind of rumble strutting a bit. So it's a bit interesting um, in that regard since most ball pets don't really make much noise at all. The second pro of a pet guinea pig is that they are very social and love to interact with you, with their owners. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they come to you as soon as you come home and approach their cage because they're expecting you to give them something. Um, they love to be pet as soon as they're tame, obviously. Um, they make cute little noises when you're petting them, when they like what you're doing. So yeah, they're very social animals and really like to be held and given attention, which is something very great to see for all owners, that your pet absolutely loves you and likes you to handle him and pet him. The third pro about a pet guinea pig is that they are mostly diurnal, so they're awake most of the time during the day. They usually don't sleep for very long periods of time. They just take like little naps throughout the day and night and then just keep on going, um, eating hay or doing whatever they were doing. So it's really nice that you can actually get to see them awake in the morning before you leave for school or work and also like 
get to see them awake as well at night when you come back home from work or in the afternoon when you come home from school. Unlike other small animals like hedgehogs and hamsters which tend to sleep a lot and it's really hard to find out sometimes what their uh, daily cycle is and when they wake up and when they go to sleep. The fourth pro of a pet guinea pig is that they can definitely be a great pet for children as long as there always is an adult supervising the child when he is holding or handling the guinea pig. Guinea pigs can be very skittish or get scared easily and suddenly they'll just try to dive off your arms. And If you're not holding them properly then they can flop onto the floor and break a leg or something and then have to go to the vet. So as long as there's an adult supervising the kid uh, handling the guinea pig should be fine because they're really great pets, they're really sweet, um, very affectionate, and they like to be handled by their owners. Um, and they're usually not very aggressive, at least in my experience, at least, at least as long as they're uh, tame. And they're absolutely fluffy and cuddly, which kids absolutely adore. Alright, so now moving on to the cons of owning a pet guinea pig. Now the first one that most new owners are surprised about and complain about is that they are messy, 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 incredibly messy. One of the messiest small pets I have ever seen. So why is this? Well, guinea pigs have a diet that is very rich in fiber and with the diet rich in fiber comes lots of poop. They poop everywhere at the speed of light and it's very hard to potty train them. It's usually hit or miss most times a mess. So that's definitely something that you have to consider. You definitely have to stay on top of the cage cleaning a lot because otherwise it'll get really smelly very quickly. And in addition to lots of poop everywhere, you uh, usually find lots of hay everywhere as well because guinea pigs absolutely need hay in their diet. And a lot of times they just take it out of the hay rack and throw it around the cage and just try to put bunches of it on the floor so they can tunnel through it. So be ready to clean a lot of poop and a lot of hay everywhere. So that's definitely something that a lot of guinea pig owners well, I mean, potential guinea pig owners really don't know and are surprised about when they get them and see the incredible mess they make. But as long as you spot clean their cage every day, it should really be fine and clean, do a whole cage cleaning at least once a week. The second con of the guinea pig... Wait. The second con of the guinea pig is that the, they uh, either need a friend or if they are a single pig, they need lots of attention from their owner. Um, lots of guinea pig owners don't realize that guinea pigs are very social animals and like to be in herds, most of them, and only adopt one and they start getting a bit lonely. So if you don't have as much time to interact with your guinea pig or have long work hours or lots of after school activities, you may want to consider getting your guinea pig a friend because they are very social and will get bored in their cage all day if they don't have anybody to play with. If you do only have one guinea pig and cannot get another companion for your guinea pig, just make sure that you give that guinea pig a lot of attention and all the love and care that it needs. Um, interact with him or her often, take them out of the cage often, let them um, free range around and bond with you often because they'll definitely need it so that they don't get um, depressed and bored all day long on their, in their cage by themselves. Um, I see a lot of people on YouTube that post a video on their single guinea pig and then they have a lot of other people gang up on them and tell them how that guinea pig needs to get a friend or they will die. But the people that usually have one guinea pig are children and if you're a kid, if your parent says you're not getting another pet, you're not getting another pet. That's the end of story. So please don't make them feel worse than they already do. I really hate seeing that. Just support them and tell them to make sure that that guinea pig gets lots of extra love and care because they will definitely need it to be a happy piggy. The third con of a pet guinea pig is that they can get expensive very quickly since they have a lot more needs than other small pets. Um, other pets that you have usually just need food and water and that's pretty much just about it, but guinea pigs need 
their food, their water. They also need fresh, fresh vegetables, fresh produce um, for their vitamin C. And they also need hay, which can get very expensive at pet stores, and especially if your guinea pig goes through a lot of it. Um, I know a bag of a few ounces at my pet store is, I think, usually about $7. So that adds up really quickly if you have to start buying it. Uh, weekly um, because your guinea pig goes through a lot of it and they need to absolutely have it available at all times. Um, another thing that can get expensive for them is bedding um, since you have to change it very often since they are very messy. Um, that's why I prefer to use fleece because I can just wash it and put it back in and it'll be nice and clean and it saves a lot of money. And the fourth con of a pet guinea pig, if it applies to you, is due to um, allergy reasons. Um, some people can be allergic to their hair or to the hay they eat. So before getting a guinea pig, make absolutely sure that you're not allergic to pet hair or to the hay because otherwise it'll be very difficult to care for them and you will have to give them away. And uh, yes, I think that's about it for the pros and cons of guinea pigs. Um, right now, I'm just going to put the piggies back in their cage and I'm going to go get Teasel the Hedgehog to talk about the pros and cons of hedgehogs. So I will be right back.